Hello Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, and Cross Watchers. This is your tarot reading for the week ahead whenever you're finding it. If you're watching along as I post because you're subscribed, this will be for the week of August 5th through the 11th, 2024. Before we begin, I just want to give a big shout out to Eileen Chen for sending me my new desk. I was needing a new desk and mine because mine was falling apart and I was literally just telling my friends like I really need to go out shopping to get one and then weirdly enough, they sent me an email and we're like, hey, we wanna give you a free desk. So thank you so much for that. I'm gonna leave their link in the description and comments for you guys if you wanna check that out. Okay, we have the Eight of Swords coming out in reverse, Aquarius. So we are starting off this week and I feel like there could be certain things going on in your life where you're really in your head or just sort of overthinking things, feeling, you know, a bit stuck. So I want to see what comes out around this card to maybe get some more clarification. Okay, we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. I feel like there is definitely like the turning of the wheel happening at this time. Big life changes may be coming through for a lot of you. Um, things like moves or new jobs or um, new levels of income, etc. Like there's, there's also what comes with that is new sets of responsibility. So Aquarius, I am seeing a lot of you taking on some more responsibility or adjusting to some sort of change that's taking place in your life, okay? So this, I'm, I'm seeing so many different examples. It's hard to pinpoint one because it'll look different for all of you. But for example, I'm seeing for some of you, like you might have more time to yourself, like maybe your children are off doing um, different activities. Maybe they moved out or maybe um, your roommate or boyfriend or girlfriend moved out or moved in or you might have moved or gotten a new job. You know what I mean? There's like a lot of changes taking place in your life right now. And every change requires an adjustment period, even good changes. Like <laughs> this is probably a really stupid example, but when I painted my bedroom, I felt really sad because I'm like, oh, but the old color was nice. There was nothing wrong with it. But, you know, I felt weirdly sad <laughs> about change and, and the passing of time and, you know, me adjusting something that's much better. Even when I got a new desk, like I felt, well, you know, my old desk was falling apart, but I had it for so long. And, you know, just a weird sadness about that. So I'm seeing similar energies for you. Uh, these are just examples. Apply it to your life, wherever that may be. We have justice coming out in reverse right next to that wheel of fortune in reverse. And you know what? When we look at this wheel of fortune, I, the, the phrase sticky situation comes to mind. Okay, so there could be um, events or news or people coming through that bring quite a bit of drama to your life. Mm. Some of you may also be entering into a legal situation or having some sort of dilemma or disagreement with someone on, you know, how much each of you are offering, how much each of you are providing. I don't know why custody is coming to my mind right now. If you have children, like custody, custody issues or trying to resolve things like who's going to take the children at this time, even if you're still in a relationship, I don't know. Definitely another thing I want to say here is pay attention to anyone from your past who might try sneaking back into your life right now. Um, just pay attention to what you feel. If people like that are trying to come back around, you know, what intuitive not just come up for you. Is this a good thing? Is this a bad thing? Listen to your intuition. We have the emperor coming out as your fourth card. We're now on the second row of cards right underneath that eight of swords in reverse. So you're getting really organized. Yeah. And I know this is very specific, but I'm seeing purchasing things that help you become more organized. For example, like if you have all of your spices just in a loose drawer, you might be getting like spice racks and putting them into alphabetical order. Or if you, I don't know, I don't know. I'm, you know what I mean? It's just like th little things that make you feel much more organized. And you don't necessarily need to get these things, but it really does um, improve the flow of your life a little bit better. And I'm seeing like making investments into that. I'm also thinking of skincare for some reason. So some of you might be investing into your skincare this week, um, purchasing good products, like Korean products are apparently like the best. And I'm seeing something like that coming through, like really random messages, really random messages that just like purchasing little things that help improve the quality of your life a little bit. Um, and, you know, it, it just seems like these are very little things. You know, why 
waste spending money on it, but it actually does really help you out. So I would say invest in that if you feel called to. Nine of coins in reverse. Yeah, that's that feeling I was just describing of like, well, I don't need to do this. I, we've been talking about this a lot in your reading too. Even the example I used of like, well, I don't need to paint the walls, but I want the walls to be this color and me feeling a little bit sad by that for some reason. Pay attention if you get similar feelings, especially if any of you grew up in poverty or grew up uh, without much money. There's a weird guilt that can sometimes come up when you purchase things that you don't need, um, but rather you want or makes your life easier. You know, it's like, I don't need that dough mixer. I can mix it by hand, although that dough mixer would be very helpful. You know what I mean? It's like, just let yourself invest in the little luxuries of life. If you can, why not do it? You know? So yeah, for sure. And then we have the devil coming out right underneath the justice card in reverse. I do not like that. I do not like that one bit. This combination is not good because this is to me like lying, cheating, stealing, somebody trying to like, uh, Somebody who, or something that preys on your downfall. Like, okay, I hope this person, I hope this Aquarius doesn't have good boundaries. I hope that they're still, you know, willing to accept this bad behavior in their life because my intentions are not pure, you know? So definitely be on the lookout for that um, anywhere. You know, this could be random people resurfacing and you might get the intuitive nudge. Like, I have a feeling they're just talking to me to like get some sort of drama out of me or to get something out of me, like not knowing why they're talking to you again. Or this could even be, um, I don't know, another sort of prickly situation. Mm, pay attention to that for sure. Okay. Don't get yourself feeling stuck. You aren't stuck. If there's any area of life where you're just like, man, I don't know how I'm going to move forward. I'm stuck here. Like it, things just have to be this way. You need to get yourself out of that mindset because you you literally are going to get yourself stuck and caught up in a repetitive karmic cycle of repetitive loop. If you're saying things like, oh, I can't do better than this person or, oh, I'm just stuck in these circumstances. You will stay stuck in them if you have that mindset and that perspective. All right. So the message for this week is to not Limit yourself, understand that what you want is out there and you need to open yourself up to it. And that may mean, you know, separating yourself from toxic people from the past or situations that you may be in, anything that makes you feel stuck. Understand that you you have the resources and things to invest in, in, in the little things that you don't need. You have the resources to live a life beyond survival. Does that make sense? So you may have been living very much in emotional or f financial, physical survival mode for a while. And Spirit's trying to move you out of that this week and get you to a place where you're like, no, it's okay for me to invest in the little things. It's okay for me to spend a little bit more time doing things that I just want to do, that I don't need to do that aren't productive, but I just want to do. Okay. I hope that makes sense. Definitely watch for your sun, moon, rising and Venus signs this week to get the fullest overview of your week ahead. Like this video, comment how it resonated down below and subscribe to the channel if you've not already. If you want a personal reading with me one-on-one, -on -one, the link to that is always in the description. And I will also link Eileen Chen. All right. Bye-bye.